Morning, C3 in Chicago with the morning grain comments. Well, we have everything a little bit higher. Beans up about seven cents, and corn and wheat up about uh, two cents. And uh, I think the market is trying to focus on three things. Number one, funds are short. They add another 46,000 contracts to their entire uh, grain short position last week, which puts them combined at a record short position. It kind of makes them a little bit vulnerable if there's any weather issues. Number two, the weekend was warm and, and dry for the most part. Farmers got some corn planted. We expect plantings tonight to be between 15 and 19 percent, and the five-year average is around 18 percent. But it looks like over the next uh, five to seven days, we're going to see heavy rains across most of the Midwest, and that's going to stop planting, and I think that offered some support. We also noticed that Western Europe is getting dry, and uh, that is starting to raise some concern about this year's uh, crop yields there, and there's not a lot of rain in sight for, for that area. And finally, the French election came in, and uh, the two people that uh, are left for the next election um, offered some support to the euro and broke the dollar pretty hard. So uh, all those things are kind of focusing on a better U.S. stock market and the dollar uh, is sharply lower and crude's actually a little bit higher and you're seeing some profit taking in the gold. So um, the grains, it's the weather market. Those are always fun to trade. It is interesting that last week we saw where U.S. is actually competitive in the beans to China for the June, July, August time frame. There may have been a few cargoes traded by China out of the U.S. PNW. And all of a sudden we're starting to see a little bit of an uptick in some of the soybean spread. So we'll be watching the July and November soybean spread pretty closely to give us an idea if we're losing demand or if we're gaining demand being competitive to Brazil despite their record soybean crop. As always, these are my thoughts and not those of ADM or ADM Investor Services and have a safe and profitable trading day.